Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. This is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. And we know that whoever is born of God does not sin. But he who has been born of God keeps himself, guards, protects himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. It's as simple as that. The divine nature of Jesus is dwelling in you through Holy Spirit, and you cannot continue in sin. With Holy Spirit's help, you keep, guard, protect yourself from sin. To be clear, sin is a violation of God's Word. In fact, God tells us, whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. Jesus said, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, no more sin. Jesus said, You are healed, forgiven, and now no more living in sin. In Hebrews 12, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Let's pray. Lord God, you are holy, almighty, and through your Son, Jesus, we have forgiveness of sins according to the riches of your grace. Your divine nature has become a part of us. Old things are passed away, and all things have become new in our lives. Jesus, my shepherd, restore my soul. Lead me in the paths of righteousness for your namesake. Lord, your word says you give more grace to those in need of your strength to overcome the pull of sin. Help each of us to lay aside the weight and those little petty sins that so easily ensnare us. Father, if your spirit does not presently dwell in someone watching or listening, please open their eyes to see and bring them to your full salvation. Holy Spirit, in the chaos of this present darkness, help us to keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, as we pray in his mighty name. Amen.